Hello, in this video, let's do a couple of quick game theory uh, payoff matrix examples. So what we're looking for is really the Nash equilibrium, which is a fancy way of saying uh, the most likely outcome for this game. So I'm going to use uh, blue for, uh, here I've got a game with best treats and healthy snacks, and they've got a, they're going to introduce a new product or do not introduce a new product. Uh, introducing a new product is expensive, so that's what's going on here. We have two rival firms. So I'm going to use blue for best treats and uh, and I'm gonna use red for healthy snacks so what I want to do is I want to say what is best treats going to do if its rival healthy treats makes a certain choice so if uh, so the way to read this the first uh, column here the first payout okay belongs to best treats okay so the the lighter gray ones belong to best treats it's whatever touches uh, that side and then the darker gray belongs to healthy snacks so if and I'm, I'm you can't see me doing this but I'm actually covering the other outcome with my hand makes it a little easier so let's let's see what best treats would do if healthy snacks um, decides to introduce the new snack what is better what is better for better payoff for best treats well three dollars is better than two dollars so there we go then if healthy snacks does not introduce, then it's better for uh, best treats to introduce because nine dollars is better than zero. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other side with healthy snacks. So I'm covering up the horizontal column. I'm, I'm assuming that best treats is going to introduce here. What's a better payout for healthy snacks? And that is to uh, not introduce because eleven dollars is better than uh, nine dollars. Okay. And then down here, if, if best treats does not introduce it's better for healthy snacks to introduce. Now this game actually has two Nash equilibriums. It has one right here, and it has one right here. Okay, uh, so that's the way to look at that. Uh, you probably you wouldn't say equilibriums; you'd say equilibria. Um, anyway, so that's that's how to read this one. This one, neither group has or neither company has a dominant strategy. Okay, so um, given the choices of the other firm, they're not going to. Uh, always introduce or always not introduce. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do one more. This is an actual game. Uh, so it says consider the following matri payoff matrix choices the two players make. So we've got player two. Uh, we can make them purple and I guess a different color. We can make player one uh, green. The color thing helps a lot of people out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so uh, we're going to assume that the numbers, the better, higher numbers are better. Okay, so let's see what player one should do. If player two goes left, what's a better outcome for player one? I'll let you think about that. Let me right there. Uh, if player two goes right, what's a better outcome? And that's to go uh, down because zero is better than negative 100. Okay, so player one does not have a dominant strategy. So you'd say, no, they don't have a dominant strategy. Um, and if I was, how would I play this game? Well, let's see what let's see what's going on with player two. Okay, if player one goes up, uh, what's better for player two? And that's to go left, okay? And then if player one goes down, it's better for player two to go left. Now for player two, they do have a dominant strategy regardless of what player one does it's better for player two to go left okay we can see that there um, so how would you play this game if I'm player two I'm always going left now player one knows that player two has this dominant strategy so if they know they're gonna go left then they're gonna go up and this is gonna be the Nash equilibrium I'll give up orange or something um, so the Nash equilibrium in this game is that player two is gonna go left and player one is gonna go up this is the most likely scenario, and that's the, the solution to this game, we might say. 